Okay, so, finding my way up to the disc golf course. I'm driving on the road, but now I'm backing down the road. Because, hey, I found a hole. It's a little rocky and on the hill. But, uh, hey. All right, so there's the road coming up. And I'm in the parking area here. Got a nice big field there. Looks like you can probably, for baseball, softball, whatever you want to do. This is a nice view, being up on this hill. Uh, excuse me. Uh, there's a pathway there, I assume for some of the courses. Uh, walk over here. Hey, we got hole one on the black course. I don't know if there are other courses. I haven't found a map yet. But hey, got a platform here and it says hello. So here at the other end of the parking lot where it goes on to hole two and beyond there's a nice little uh, barbecue stand there. So it's a little close to that bush, so got to watch out for that. Uh, but anyway, coming around here. Got some stands for the ball field. And here on this backside of the dugout, we have a lot of information for the disc golf. Apparently it's a, kind of a thing around here. I mean, they got leagues. Uh, don't. Don't worry about the typos. I mean, I don't know what the 28th is. All sorts of records and schedules and league information. So on this course, you're really going to have to follow the map either from a picture or from the disc golf app. Because, yeah, you really need to find your way around. So... Sorry, let me backtrack here a little bit. So right out there is the ball field. And right there at that bench is the start of hole 12. Now on the other side of the ball field, you have holes one and two. And then come around, you have hole three. And this is where you really need to follow the map because it really goes into the woods there and there's a lot of trail stuff in there follow it anyway so i was just following the trail around the ballpark ball field and came to this one like i said that's hole 12 and from there you cannot see this hole but you come up that trail you might want to wear a sturdy pair of shoes i'm going to zoom out on this might wear, wear, wear a sturdy pair of shoes or heck, even some hiking boots because that might be what's required here. Uh, although nice job on the gravel to help guide you through the woods here. And right there, that's kind of hard to see. Hole 12, let's see what's beyond it. Here's a sign for 13. Hey, this looks like a start of a hole here. Don't know what number it is though. <laughs> so welcome, Matt. Ah, can see can see the ball field, that corner of it anyway. Um, give me a moment to look around. Okay, could not find a number, but here from the welcome mat, I've looked and looked out there. I do not see the hole. There is a pathway here, but I do not think that is the right way to go that way. So most likely they want you to keep going this way around. Oh, 
Oh, hey, there's 13 again. Now, they do have different starting points for the holes, depending on what course you're playing. Or, I guess, what uh, level you're playing. Uh, red drop zone. I don't know what that means. But anyway, uh, it looks like the trail is here. Ah, I see a hole up ahead. This is neat. I do like the uh, landscaping they've done around here. They've got rock and then they've got rock wall barrier with trees and bark. So far, I'm taking the easy route. I have not gone hiking into the hills to follow every hole. I skipped uh, basically four through 11. <laughs> and, okay. Oh, hey, I can see from 16 here. There's a 16 sign there. There's a 16 sign over there. Oh, and there's a 16 sign there. But anyway, it is straight up there. Ah, but of course, uh, <laughs> you can't just skip 13 and go to 16. Here's 14. Yeah, definitely emphasize on the Dirty shoes part. Oh, and uh, over here. Oops. There's another 14 starting point. So, yeah, it, uh, it looks fun. I'm not going to go over the whole course today. But, yeah, kind of give you some idea of this place. I'm going to just keep hiking around, basically the ball field. Ah, here's another 14 sign. There's the road coming in. I don't know if 14, if its hole is the one that's down, down the hill here. There are a couple trails on the hill here. But, yep, just basically doing a little walk around the ball field with a little bit of the view of the course, of some of the course. And hey, there's there's that hole. So yeah.